They try to stop me, they won't catch a body They play it sloppy, you know that they not me My aura is godly, they wanna copy They all up on me, what am I to do? Dudes wanna rob me, the street life is not me Ten deep in the lobby, I can't let them drop me I meet with the posse, ain't pushing no mozzie These haters like Nazis, no we don't like you yeah, yeah. I lost money to get Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. What we have it today? A bam! That's right. These are the Travis Scott One Lows, and all I'm gonna say is these, they're okay. They're alright. Like seriously. Um, like it's not like it's it's a dope shoe, but I, you know if you have them, cool, rock it. You know what I mean? But if is the hype worth it? You know what I'm saying? Is that's what I, that's what I'm trying to get at? Is the hype and the resale and everything is it all worth it for this shoe? Mm, for my size, size nine, or yeah, about size nine, nine and a half, these things are going for like 900 to 800 dollars, almost going for like a grand. So, for these things, I just want to say, is it worth it? And you know, I usually like the lows, like a Jordan 1 lows, just for like an alternate as for the highs, like maybe for the summertime rocket, put it on, don't you know, just something to look good with. But for these things, I don't think it's really worth like that crazy resale price point. Like honestly, like these things is like the material wise and the style wise and just the look wise, it's just okay. To me, honestly, with the color anything, it really looks like a van or like an SB or something like that. It's just, I'm not really feeling it, honestly. I hate to sound like I'm bashing. I'm not bashing, it's still a dope shoe. So you have it, I mean congrats, rock it. It's still some head turns, but comparing these to the highs, there's no comparison. Like seriously, if you're gonna compare them to the highs, I just think the highs just looks way better. The materials are way better. I do like all the tumbleness on the side and on the toe box and everything way better. On here, you see it's just it's new buck. I'm not really feeling that. I do still like the backwards Nike swoosh on the lows. I think you know it does make it look good. It's just to me, in my opinion, they just they're right. They're cool. But is it worth a whole like 900 to a grand? Nah. If these things for like Maybe if they were dropping down to like 500, I think it might be worth it then. But for me, honestly, just give my honest opinion to you guys, I just don't think it's worth it, really. Especially if you already have the highs. And if, say, if you're looking for both, where do you wanna put your money at? Don't kill me. <laughs> but, on, but all in all, if you, do, if you were lucky enough to get these things for retail, I would say congratulations, rock them. And they just, I mean, just killing one feet, bro. Anyways, let's just go ahead, let's get into this review real quick. All right, here we go. First things first, guys, let's take a look at the toe box. As I was explaining to you guys, it is this new buck material. It is somewhat buttery, it's cool, it's nice, but it's, you know, you can tell this here, this price scares me. I believe this will increase significantly. But of course, on the side panels, it's basically this whole suede material up top. You can see it. Look how it changes, how buttery it is, how nice it is. Basically the same as on the highs, in my opinion. It's, I think it's just the same material. Moving on to the side panels, of course, again, on the black part, you do have this new buck material on the side. You had that tumble leather backwards Nike swoosh white on the side here. And of course, you have the suede material on the heels. And on the right shoe, you do have that stitched in embroidered Air Jordan wing logo on the back. And then on the left shoe is that stitched in Cactus Jack face back of the heels here. And on the inner side, you do have this new buck material on the side as well. And you have the normal, uh, you know, suede Nike swoosh on the side. And of course, you see that red Cactus Jack. And if you guys see, there's a cactus and I believe there's a little jack but it's covered by this Nike swoosh here. On to the midsole, this is this cream like off-white midsole. And moving on to the tongue, you have these wax 
uh, flat rope laces, black. That's come. That's uh, already laced all the way up, and you have the nylon tongue all the way up, just so you can see with that Nike Air tag on the top of the tongue. And then take a look at the side of the tongue here. If you guys can see that, it does says this cactus jack on the side of the tongue as well on the side of the tongue. Yes, it does come with extra set of laces. You have your you can see the laces are a little different compared to the highs. You have this like shiny wax uh, lacing. It comes with red and black and also pink as well. On the left shoe, inside the insole, you guys can see it has that red jump man, and inside it says Cactus Jack inside. And then on the right shoe, you guys can see it says Cat, uh, Travis Scott inside, and it has Nike Air up top here. I can't pull this out. Nike Air with your Texas Jack on the top. Of course, you had that mocha color, iconic Air Jordan 1 outsole on the bottoms here. So, there you guys have it. These are the Cactus Jack uh, Air Jordan 1 lows. Let me know what y'all think. Do you like them or not? And like I said, in my opinion, I think they're cool, they're dope. Do I think it's worth the whole 900 price point? Absolutely not. Um, for me, I would prop, honestly, for me, shouts to the homie, he actually let me borrow these, so these are not mine. I honestly, I probably most likely gonna have to end up passing. I don't think I have can justify a pain, not like over a grand for a low, no matter what kind of ones it is. It's just, it's a low. It's kind of crazy to me how a low is that much, but I get it. It's a Cactus Jack. I mean, it's, it's a Travis Scott, you know, it's really hyped to it. It's pretty limited. There's a shock drop. And of course the highs came out earlier this year and those going for big money as well for like 14 to $1,500. So it just makes sense for these things to be like up to like 900 to a thousand dollars. I don't know, maybe down the road, if I have enough money or to where the price goes down to the price that I want, or if I can find a price that I'm comfortable with, maybe I can go ahead, maybe I'll grab them. But for right now, I think I'm gonna end up passing. That's just my opinion. You guys let me know if you guys wanna cop, if you wanna cop these for resale or not, just to have in your personal collection. But by that any means, it's still, I think it's a dope shoe. I think it looks great. The materials is good. Uh, the only one thing I just don't like, I don't like the new buck here because I remember on the Jordan 1 Lowe's, I think it was a yellow one. It had that new buck and I just wasn't feeling it. Same with these on the Travis Scott's. I'm just not feeling it. I, I get it that the new buck on this one is definitely a lot better quality and it looks pretty decent. It looks really good. But I just don't feel it. You know, I wish it was more of that tumble leather. That's my opinion. I do like the way how the suede of the mocha in the black uh, new buck how it hits the black and the mocha looks really good with the white uh, uh, Nike backwards reverse Nike swoosh I think that really makes it look pop it looks actually pretty dope like that but on feet for the lows I mean the only way I would probably rock these things if you're gonna do it in the summertime you have to wear those high socks uh, definitely I probably won't wear no ankle socks for these and if I'm gonna wear these with Je with jeans had to be with skinnies but something to kind of a little bit cover this a little bit and or of course joggers as well so of course if you guys didn't know these things did release as a shock drop on the travis scott website and again the next day was a shock raffle from nike uh sneakers app as a uh, drawing and shouts to nike a lot of people got through and i saw a couple a lot of people got w so shouts to you guys congrats to everyone that did i was asleep but for everyone that copped congratulations now you got a travis scott and it just makes me wonder because are these exclusive only to the Travis Scott website in Nike? There was no sneaker boutiques that got them that I know of to my knowledge. No foot size as in foot action, foot locker, so on and so forth. So, and of course Travis Scott already announced on like IG that he wished there was more pair, but that's it. So in my opinion, these are probably a lot more limited compared to the highs because it just didn't come out. And you know, will there be another drop? You know, who knows? Travis Scott says not, but you know how they be kind of playing, you know? You actually really don't know. So prepare for that. If there is gonna be another drop, these things will go down significantly again. Well, I've probably seen prices like $500 or something like that. It won't be too much, but people, you know, gonna panic sell. But uh, for the, like I said, for the resale that is right now, they're going for like 900 to like, uh, you know, $800 for a size nine, nine and a half. In my opinion, like I said, I would hold if you have a good size. But if you have a big size, I think a big size I saw, like a size 11 is like 700, something 600, five, you know, 580 uh, or something like that for a really big size and so on and so forth. Uh, if you have those sizes, I say go ahead and get rid of it. If you want to go ahead and make your money, unless you're going to hold and just make a couple dollars extra, I just don't think it's worth it to hold for a whole year and make like an extra like 50 bucks. But if you're willing to do that, but if there don't, if there wasn't any more uh, drops because 
it was kind of crazy because once Travis Scott announced that there weren't gonna be no pairs, these things, their prices jumped up significantly. Like at day one, they're going for like, uh, like $700, and then once Travis Scott said it, it just bumped up to like nine to a grand. Of course, for lows, I would always go true to size for Jordan 1. Uh, they fit a little different, you know, it doesn't, it still feels kind of flat. It feels kind of like an SB or a van because it's, it's really flat and it's like really like kind of loose here. So I would just go true to size. I would definitely rock it kind of loose like this. That's just my opinion. It'd be kind of like slip on, step off, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, I wish I could get these in my collection. I really do. I just don't, I can't justify paying a grand. But it's cool if you guys have it, congratulations. It's still a dope shoe. So, you know, rock it, you know, it still holds its own. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about these things. Do you like them or not? Did you cop or are you gonna cop them for resale? Or are you just gonna, if you have them, uh, if you did get them for retail, are you gonna sell them or keep them? Let me know what y'all think about these things. And anyway, guys, if you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit the bell for all the notifications for when I do drop big guys. I, uh, I do post up daily content all the time. I try to keep up, guys. I'm trying to drop all these videos. So please follow me on my IG at Chris on IG and Twitter. Sometimes I'm on Twitter and also Snapchat and all that fun stuff. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.